Nowadays, just about anyone can claim to be an inventor by posting their wacky creations on crowdfunding sites like Kickstarter and Indiegogo, but that doesn't necessarily mean everyone is on to the next big thing. From total fails to some design ideas which miraculously managed to get funded, here are some of the worst Kickstarter inventions ever. Amazing. Number 10. Mokazi in the modern world, many of us function day to day with the help of two simple essentials, our smartphone and coffee by the gallon. But just imagine how easy life would be if these two worlds met in perfect harmony. One not so genius design team from Naples attempted to achieve this winning combination by creating a phone case which doubled up as an instant coffee dispenser. But how, you ask? I'm not entirely sure they were so clear on that part either. Allegedly, disposable wafer pouches containing 25 milliliters of coffee and water could be inserted into the case, which would then miraculously heat the liquid to between 50 to 60 degrees at the touch of a button before dispensing it via an exit pipe in the corner. 90 backers pledged 3,765 pounds of a huge 66,786 pound goal until it was suspended just five days after it launched with Mokazi claiming they decided to go ahead and produce it themselves anyway. If you ask me, mixing hot liquids with delicate electricals for the smallest cup of coffee in the world just doesn't seem all that worth it. Besides, just how impressed would you be if you saw someone casually ejecting hot liquid from their iPhone on the way to work? Number 9. JFA Desktop Jellyfish Tank The JFA Desktop Jellyfish Tank is a prime example of a perfectly great invention which ended in total disaster. This aesthetically pleasing miniature aquarium housing a fascinating collection of jellyfish was designed by a man with a degree in biology and environmental science and even won the best new aquarium project at the Global Pet Expo in 2012. The crowdfunding goal was exceeded by 515 backers, pledging $162,917 to get their hands on the unique desktop aquarium and the product was quickly shipped out internationally. So far so good, right? Unfortunately, it wasn't long before concerned owners of the tank took to Kickstarter and angry hordes to complain that this animal-friendly habitat was actually a horrifying jellyfish death trap. Almost everyone that left a review of the product requested a refund after their precious jellies were swept into the stones at the bottom of the tank and torn apart. Without a sufficient water filter, the animals lucky enough to survive the deadly water currents didn't fare much better, as one reviewer even speculated that the tank could only support life for 72 hours. Perhaps this unfortunate invention should be enough proof that the only aquatic animal to live on your desk should be the plain old goldfish. Number 8. Spoonie on face value, the Spoonie is an ingenious little gadget which makes a whole lot of sense. This fan-operated spoon would cool down baby food as it travels towards the top in the shape of an adorable, colorful airplane. The problem with this French design is that it seemed to encounter a whole host of issues when it came down to finance. The relatively simple invention would require 110,000 euros worth of funding to put it into production, and the Spoonie was pitched with a hefty 60 euro price tag or 100 euro for three extra caps, which seems a hell of a lot considering it only eliminates the two second process of blowing on the food yourself. The designer also stated that the spoon would have varying levels of fan power, which begs the question whether one simple slip of the finger could send the food flying right into the baby's face by accident. Overall, this product has the potential to cause more mess than it ever claimed to solve, so it's really no surprise that it ended up in the graveyard for unfortunate Kickstarter fails. Number seven. No phone. Are you so used to having your smartphone in your hand that you would be totally lost without the familiar feeling of a rectangular block to clutch at all times? Thankfully, the No Phone was designed to provide a handy solution to your smartphone addiction, which doesn't require you to be permanently connected to the digital world. Yes, this technology-free alternative to hand-to-phone contact is the world's first smartphone without a screen, battery, wires, or basically anything tech-related, because it is literally just a plastic rectangle. This smartphone surrogate is the self-proclaimed least advanced phone ever created, and serves no real purpose other than to satisfy the urge to carry a portable device on you wherever you go. For reasons unknown, 915 backers chipped in on a hefty $18,316 to put this thing into production, and its online success has even led to the creation of a successor, the No Phone Air, which is the lightest phone ever made because it literally doesn't exist. It's just fancy packaging. Inventions like this one are truly the reason the world loves to hate millennials. Get it together, guys. Number 6. 
Barf Suit. If amateur Kickstarter inventors are good at one thing, it's creating solutions to problems that didn't even really exist to begin with. The creator of the barf suit is a prime example of this unnecessary problem solving with his proposal for a fun t-shirt, which is perfect for anyone worried about suddenly vomiting at random points throughout the day. The shirt's gaping mouth can house emergency sick bags, while the oversized eyes act as clips which fasten the bags to your chest, allowing you to bow your head and vomit directly into your lap without making any mess. Perhaps this product would make more sense if humans didn't already have arms, but alas, someone went ahead and designed the barf suit anyway. Unsurprisingly, this invention did not reach its goal of 889 pounds, despite three backers coming together to pledge a grand total of two pounds. I guess walking around with a bag full of sick hanging from your chest just didn't appeal to the masses. Number five, audio pill. From the ridiculous to the downright dangerous, enter the audio pill, the world's first way to enjoy music from the inside. This bizarre Indiegogo invention was pitched as an experimental way to experience music by swallowing a large electronic capsule with a preset BPM which would beat inside the human body but have no impact on the world around you. With a remotely controlled so-called magnetic relay system, the user would allegedly be able to predetermine the speed and intensity of the beats before taking the plunge but the designer also clearly warns that the 10-hour battery cannot be turned off once swallowed. The Kickstarter campaign described the experience as a techno party you can't escape, which will pump you to insanity. So in all honesty, this thing sounds more like a modern torture device than a desirable fun gadget. Despite the designer demoing the pill on camera, it seemed the idea of paying upwards of 100 pounds to risk your health for a 24-hour intensive private rave proved too much for potential pledgers who only put forward 132 pounds of the 133,378 pound goal. Number four, Titanoboa. One consequence of anyone being able to translate their late night thoughts and innermost desires into seemingly legit Kickstarter projects is that basically anything can turn up online asking for people's hard earned cash. This was arguably the case with the Titanoboa, a genuine proposal which managed to raise $10,560 in order to build a 50-foot electromechanical serpent which would wreak havoc at Burning Man Festival in 2011. This hydraulic man-eating snake was made from solid aluminum and powered by lithium batteries, and the original campaign had even suggested that the serpent would be operated by a solo rider perched on a saddle behind its head. The concept was inspired by the 60-million-year-old one-ton Titanoboa Titanoboa snake, and its modern reincarnation was intended to provoke discussions about climate change. Although how this would be prompted by staring into the eyes of a 50-foot metal snake remains unclear. In the end, the radio-controlled Titanoboa did make it to Burning Man, but it's safe to say it wasn't quite as impressive as the original Kickstarter would have had us believe. And by the look of it, Havoc was kept at a minimum. Number three, Scarp Laser Razor. Although the creators of the Titanoboa at least managed to get their ambitious project off the ground, the Scarf Laser Razor is a popular Kickstarter steeped in a long history of failures. Marketed as the future of 21st century shaving back in 2015, this nifty project was set to revolutionize the morning routine of men and women around the globe by zapping away stubble using a focused laser beam. The razor promised a bounty of benefits including being effortlessly smooth, water and irritation free, as well as environmentally friendly, and thousands of eager supporters pledged over $4 million of a comparatively modest $160,000 goal to put the device on the shelves. That's where things started to go downhill quickly though, as Kickstarter suspended the project after it transpired that the designers had no working prototype to prove the razor was actually legit. Scarp responded by uploading a video demoning the product, but the razor seemed hugely ineffective and only capable of tediously cutting through one hair at a time. The project was swiftly re-uploaded on Indiegogo and again exceeded its $160,000 target by raising a hefty $507,810. But as of yet, the actual product has still not materialized and there have been no updates from its creators. So don't throw out your old electric razor just yet. Number two, meat soap. Ah yes, because who doesn't want to leave the house every morning stinking of beef fat? Meat soap is another example of a product nobody asked for, but which surprisingly attracted enough attention to become the real deal. 
Back in 2011, proud designer Allie Dreyer created a Kickstarter based on the idea that the aroma of freshly cooked bacon should linger long after breakfast. With hopes of using delicious animal byproducts and melted down fat to create natural meat scented soaps. Unbelievably, 42 backers got behind the idea to pledge $1,905 to bring the soap to life. And the tasty looking final product is now available to buy online for all your carnivorous friends. This nauseating concept might seem like an ideal prank gift, but the soap also lacks preservatives making it susceptible to rot and it deceptively isn't edible in the slightest. So maybe you should think twice when the office secret Santa rolls around. Before we take a look at my number one worst Kickstarter invention, allow me to introduce you to the Taka, a uni glove designed with a wipe clean window so that you don't have to go two seconds without using your smartphone in bad weather. This bulky device could be strapped around your neck for quick use at the bus stop or anywhere you might get caught out in the rain. And it even comes in this totally not creepy leather variation. Unsurprisingly, this Canadian project didn't take off and the Taka fell short of its 12,152 pound goal with a disappointing 945 pounds in funding. I guess people just didn't want to look like they were walking around with bizarre gas masks on their hands. Number one, fish on wheels. Some may claim that the goldfish is the most boring of all common pets, but stop and ask yourself how exciting your aquatic companion could be if it was fully mobile. This was obviously the driving force behind the creation of the world's first fish on wheels, a Dutch invention which puts its scaly passenger in the driver's seat of its own automated car. According to its designer, the goldfish would drive itself around by swimming in a certain direction as its movement is carefully monitored by a sensor-mounted camera positioned above. Although the idea of a goldfish driving itself around the house to its heart's content seems like a recipe for total hilarity, who knows where the aquatic technology might take us next? The common goldfish has been long confined to a mundane life of repetition and endless tank circling, but the possibilities for finned exploration could be endless with the help of this invention. The bizarre concept first appeared on Kickstarter in 2014, and despite some surprising demand and online coverage, it only sourced 4,703 pounds of its 35,619 pound goal. So it doesn't seem like our fishy friends will be conquering the world anytime soon. Which of these terrible Kickstarter inventions made you facepalm the hardest? And if you had to invest in one, which one would you choose? Let me know down in the comments below, and as always, thanks for watching.